Hey guys, in this video we're going to be talking about High Tide, the cannabis company or ticker H-I-T-I-F, HITIF stock. It's absolutely fantastic uh, legal cannabis company, the largest supplier over in Canada, looking to expand into the United States and Europe. And this is my strategy for how I would play this stock both short term and long term because you can make a serious amount of money both ways. If that sounds like something you're interested in then stick around after the intro. We're going to dive into this and I'm going to tell you exactly what I would do. Hey guys, welcome into the video. So here we are on the landing page for High Tide Stock or High Tide Incorporated or HITIF is the ticker and as we can see Current share price is 84 cents a share, up from the 5th of Feb at 47 cents a share. So it has already doubled. But there is a lot of legs in this company to go yet. So you can trade the short term volatility or you can hold on for the long term with this one because there are some really significant news items that both will generate short term spikes in the share price as we've seen today it is already up 6% and then long term longevity of cannabis stocks are extremely good as well so in the good news uh, today high tide has opened its 70th nationwide cannabis store in calgary so that is a pretty big milestone it'd be better when they get to uh, 100 locations open but this is something in the investor presentation that they wanted to work on massively is enhancing their footprint across canada and the united states so also to do this they raised equity not so long ago they sold an extra lots of shares millions of shares to initially raise what they thought was going to be 15 million dollars but instead they increased this to 41 million units of extra sale, extra sales generating 20 million dollars instead and this is an, an enhancing their investment in the business going forward they've got extra capital to go forward and enhance their footprint nationwide do the celebrity endorsements that they've got, enhance their online products and their numerous brands that they own. This company is huge and cannabis stocks are extremely hot right now in the market. So even though the stock price has doubled over the last uh, two weeks or so, there is still a lot of room for this to grow even further, even though it is a penny stock but if you look at all the other competitors in the sector they're all growing massively so it's really good to know that money is coming towards the sector in general let alone the good performance of this company so the company does have a really good twitter feed they've got 2000 followers so it's slightly early on they joined in 2018 but they do post fairly regularly and as you can see here two hours ago they announced their 70th nationwide cannabis store and then 17 hours ago you can see that the Ontario cannabis store uh, which they purchased means they've got 420 legal cannabis retail stores across Ontario in Canada. So there are also other little bits of information going forward about how they want to build competitive advantage. It's something that even though investors obviously need to get into the fundamental side of thing and do your research that way on yahoo finance and stockwits keeping an eye on the twitter feed is also a really good way to find out key information about the company and if we pop into the latest financial statements which was its quarter three results now this came out and was actually reported quite a while ago so we're expecting new results soon to go to corroborate better data However, if we look at the, the key highlights from the third quarter, you've got some pretty exceptional growth there already. So you have revenue that increased in three months 180% like for like to $23 million from $8 million the year before. That is an insane rate of growth and if they can keep that up, that means that they're going to be growing at a compound annual growth rate of an exceptional triple digits level. So they're looking to expand geographically, as we know. So this has already happened in the past, and they're going to be pushing this forward to enhance that growth even further. So it'll be really, really interesting when they release the quarter four for 2020 uh, to see just how much growth that has done year on year 
that has done against the previous year and bringing the year to a close to see just how much they've beaten their targets by. Then if we have a look on the Investors Observer, on the Monday the 8th of March, this company was highlighted on there and the stock is already higher by 433% over the last 12, 12 months and they've given it some pretty good ratings, a 66 out of a possible 100 and it's influenced in its long term technical score of 99 out of 100 which is pretty astonishing really and gives it some backup. And it also has a short term technical score of 98 which is absolutely phenomenal which means on the one hand it's a good short-term buy because you're almost guaranteed to make money with it being a hot topic at the moment with investors the company itself looks great fundamentally going forward and then over the long term when you're talking six months to a year or even further than that you've got all the terms of growth in the sector and the fundamentals and the plans of this company with the capital raise that we've already spoken about going forward all come into fruition and bring in a return on investment to us investors and this could be like multi a multi multi bagger i've said it before but this company with shares as cheap as they are could easily 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 five to ten times over the next 12 months no problem at all no question about that just a disclaimer, I'm invested in Afria, which is a significant investor in this company. It's how I came across them in the first place. Afria invested $5 million in this company. I'm an investor in Afria with a significant investment, and that company is now up 350% for me, getting close to 400%, which is absolutely fantastic. And I want to share some of that experience with you. Some people would argue, why don't I do an investing presentation on a fryer as well? And that is also in the pipeline going forward. So I'm definitely thinking about that. High tide stock is currently hot in the news. We know that. And the sector itself is on fire at the moment. So when it comes to my strategy personally, you could easily just trade the good news around the company or around the sector and make yourself a short term gain of between, it's already gone up 100% and over 400% in the last 12 months, but there is still legs in it still. You could still easily double or triple your money over the next short term things, thriving off good news headlines and financial reports or as I tend to do, I look long term on these sorts of things. I would kick it into the long grass, buy it, keep buying more on dips and just watch this company grow and make significant returns for you over the longer term. And when I say long term, I'm looking out towards 2023, 2024 and beyond when this company has really got its teeth into um, completely capitalising on its Canadian position it's got into and is growing all over the United States and then it's looking to get into the European Union and the UK as well. If it gets to that point or when it gets to that point, your returns will be absolutely phenomenal. Thank you very much for watching guys. It's been an absolute pleasure to bring you this information and this video. If you could see your way to smashing that like button, that'd be absolutely fantastic and I'll hopefully catch you in another episode. See you later.